I hear, look, this morning I'd like to rise to my feet disgusted and shocked by reports that staff working in Dublin Airport have been arrested and are being investigated as part of a major immigrant smuggling racket. It is believed that up to 100 people or more per year have allegedly been getting into the country as part of this scam. This alleged exploitation is of great concern to me and it is clear that the authorities in Dublin Airport and the Gardaí need to examine very carefully the alleged failures in security that would allow such exploitation, exploitation and abuse to slip through the system. Of further concern appears to be the very simplicity, simplicity of the scam in that the illegal immigrants were being brought to parts of the airport on arrival and given the necessary clothing that would, that would allow them slip undetected through parts of the airport. In a busy international airport, there, this must cause massive alarm bells to ring and security concerns must be priority, prioritised in the airport at this time. Clearly, we have a duty to allow the Gardaí and the DPP to thoroughly investigate this case and, pro and proceed as they deem fit, but it is also incumbent on us to call on the authorities to take any measure, measures necessary to protect the security of our airport and to ensure that human beings who are attempting to illegally enter the country are not being exploited. I call on the Minister for Transport to take an active role in this matter to ensure that the DAA bring the Dublin airport to a standard that is required by an international airport. Cahillac, I'd also like to briefly mention the matter in relation to Brexit. Um, I'd like to mention the most recent um, export figures published in the latest Board B report. The report shows the value of Irish food and drink exports have fallen by 570 million since the 23rd of June due to the decrease in the value of the sterling. We all heard the recent speech by Prime Minister May which outlined her plans for a hard Brexit. We know that a hard Brexit with the potential introduction of trade barriers is a real threat to our, Irish, to our economy. The decrease in exports shown in this report is a real and tangible blow to rural Ireland and the Irish economy as a whole, even before a hard border has been implemented. It shows us that we must take the issue of a hard Brexit even more seriously and demand again on Taoiseach to appoint a minister for Brexit before it is too late. Brexit is in the here and now and there is no point in waiting until they have decided on physical barriers or otherwise. We have a small economy and we need to protect it.